This has gotta be one of my favorite iced coffee drinks of all time. And if you were to think this is a nitrogen infused cold brew or a nitro brew, you'd only be partially correct because I actually brewed this at home with no fancy equipment other than an espresso machine. What? And today I really wanna show you how to make this because this is a drink that I will be brewing for years to come. In fact, this isn't even a nitro brew. This is actually a steamed iced Americano, yet has the similar texture and almost exact same experience as you'd get from a nitrogen infused cold brew. And I'm gonna explain why later in this video. But before we get to that, this was not my idea. This is a trend that I actually found on Reddit. And I'm gonna leave a link to the original post in the description down below because what an incredible idea. Okay, here are the tools that you're gonna need to make this coffee, real easy. You're gonna need an espresso machine or something that can brew espresso and steam your coffee. If you don't have one, there are different options. You can get manual espresso brewers and you're gonna need something that can steam like a Bellman stovetop steamer. The second thing you'll need is coffee. You know, right now I have whole bean fresh coffee. I always recommend whole beans so you can grind fresh. You'll get the best results and best compounds out of your coffee. It will taste just so much better and you'll get way better results, more consistent results, but that's a conversation for another video. You'll also need a milk pitcher. Okay, this is one that we use for milk steaming for lattes. Something like this is great. Any size really does kind of work. And then you also need a glass, right? You need something to pour this into. Now let me show you how to make it. I'm gonna grind my coffee fresh. I've dialed my grinder in. This is 18 grams of whole bean coffee. I'm gonna be doing a one to two ratio. So 18 grams into my grinder and I'm gonna be expecting about double that dry weight in my espresso yield. So I'm looking for about 36 to up to about 40 grams of espresso. Now in this video, I'm not gonna tell you how to dial in coffee. So you should have some basic understanding how to make an espresso at home. If you don't know how, well, that's another video for another time. Once you've got your coffee ready, then we're gonna pour this into and brew this into an espresso cup. Now in this pitcher, I've got, you know, 130 grams of espresso. You can adjust this by taste, okay? If you like less ice, that's cool. If you want more ice, all the power to you. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this espresso, you're gonna pour it over top of your pitcher filled with ice. Now, because I like my coffee pretty strong, my ratio might be a little stronger than what yours will be. So you can add more water or less depending on your taste. Now for this one, I've got about 100 and 110 grams of water added with about 130 grams of ice. To each their own, this is gonna be slightly less. And for me, it's actually just about at the bottom of this pitcher spout. So, so far, all I've got is water, ice, and espresso. That's all this takes, except now we gotta do the most crucial feature, which is steaming this. I'm gonna be steaming this as I would any other milk pitcher. Here's the trick, before I get to this, you do not wanna heat this up. This is not supposed to be hot like it would be if you're steaming milk. You still want this to be a cold beverage, and you can add more ice later. But the reason why we're gonna be doing this is we're gonna be incorporating air into our coffee. Just like Nitro Brew, this will give it that foamy, thick texture. Now, what most people don't know is the majority of air is nitrogen, okay? There's oxygen and some other compounds too. So when we're incorporating air with our steamer from our espresso machine into our coffee solution, that is gonna be similar to how they would infuse nitrogen in a nitro brew. Let's try it. Now this is gonna take some kind of skill, some kind of understanding on how to steam milk. It's the same kind of deal, you're gonna wanna use the same kind of technique. If you don't know how to do that, I will leave a link right up here. You can watch that video, but let's steam this real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna talk more about the technique, some things to point out here. But first, let's do the most satisfying part of brewing this, pouring it into a glass. It looks beautiful. So is this nitro brew? Is it as good? I mean, for me, no. I mean, depending on your recipe, you might be able to get it pretty darn close. For me, that nitro brew that I know and I love is that, that classic cold brew style coffee that's infused with nitrogen. But this is really close. Okay, this is, the texture is, is basically spot on. In fact, I think a lot of people might actually prefer this to nitrogen infused cold brew. Uh, that can be very potent and very uh, unapproachable. This is a little bit more delicate and that can be obviously adjusted with recipe. Less water, 
make a stronger coffee. So a couple things to note here before you go, when steaming your coffee, how do you know that it's done? Right? How do you know that you've achieved the steaming texture that you want? Now this is a lot harder than steaming milk because you're not going based on temperature. You're going based on mostly sites. You will notice that your coffee will go from a dark brown to like a lighter orange or a light brown. At that point, you're pretty much done. Okay, you're not trying to make this thing the foamiest drink you've ever drank, right? You're just trying to infuse a bit of nitrogen, a bit of air into that drink to give it the texture we desire. Essentially, this is just an iced Americano but it's infused with air. <laughs> I mean, come on. Here's what I want you to do now. Here's your homework. If you try this recipe out, I wanna know. Tag me on Instagram, okay? My Instagram is just my name. Tag me on Instagram if you're not following me there, obviously do. Let me know how this was for you. Did, was it success? Are you gonna have to try it again? Was it the worst thing you've ever tried? I really, truly wanna know. Also, again, like I said, I'm gonna leave a link to the original post of this down in the description below. What an incredible idea. This really just opens up so many possibilities for me and what we can do to brew coffee at home. If this is fascinating, this is interesting to you, this is, this is something you wanna see more of, let me know by hitting that like button down below. And if you haven't yet, click that red subscribe button for more videos like this one. I love each and every single one of you. We'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.